Ah, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to ask, I'm appealing to those of you who have the mega bucks. I know there's very few of you that would even waste your time watching YouTube because you've got more high and mighty things to do with your lives. But for those of you who are fat in the pocket, for those of you who are in the top 1% or the top 20%, and you know you have more than enough to blow $10 million and it's chump change for you. I ask you to do this. Ask God who you can help. Ask God who you can help through school. Whose house you can pay off so that they don't have a mortgage payment any longer. Ask God who you can send to the dentist and get their teeth fixed. Ask God who can get the surgery that they can't afford to get because they can't afford the health care. Ask God. You know, the Bible says, there's a question he poses. How can you say that you love God Yet, when you see your neighbor in need, you tell them, oh, I'll pray for you, be warmed and filled, yeah. And you let them go on, and you have what it takes to meet the need. And I'm not talking welfare. I'm talking compassion. I'm talking love. When Jesus saw the people hungry that followed him into the wilderness, he didn't send them home like the disciples told them to do, which is what you would probably do. Jesus sat them down, took a, a lunch from a little boy, five fishes and two loaves, one little basket amongst 5,000 or more. It would probably be three times that amount because they did not count the women and children. But Jesus fed them. Jesus fed them. He multiplied. It was within his power to multiply. Some of you, it's within your power to multiply. Quit sitting on your duff in your bed of ease and open your hearts to the needs you see right around you. Stop criticizing. You don't know what kind of beginning some people had. You don't know who have been abused or misused or, manip or molested, have had psychological breakdowns. You don't know who, is, who have had their, their lands taken from them through debt and money games and, and, and tricky contracts, you don't know. Get up off your thing of high and mighty and quit worshiping yourself and your accomplishments. And start thinking about some of the needs that are out there. Some of you can buy a whole city block with your chump change and open up a place and hire people to work with the homeless and teach them skills, teach some of them how to read. You have it within your power, you guys. This world is never going to be different as long as we're waiting for someone else to make a difference. Those of us who don't have money, We'll do prison ministry. We'll counsel people. We'll pray for people. We'll, we'll lead people to other organizations so they can get their needs met. But what are you doing? The little tax write-offs for these organizations, these nonprofits. No, I'm talking about putting your hands in where it's dirty and pulling some people out of the muck and mire. And helping them clean their lives up. Because you're getting involved from the heart. And then your money facilitates your effort. Because you got it to spare. But nope, 
Some of you would rather have a bigger yacht and 10 more vacations a year. I appeal to your hearts. I appeal to your, your level of compassion. The more of you look around, the more problems will get solved in this country. There'll be less treachery, less lies and murders for the sake of money, less drug dealing, less trafficking, less prostitution, less abuse, less prisoners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All I can say is think about it. Amen. Amen. <laughs>